Hey everyone, I'm Chatan and I'm the co-founder of Notion Apps. Notion Apps is a tool to create beautiful apps on top of your Notion databases. Today, I'd introduce you to a new feature, which is private apps. On Notion Apps, you can create two kinds of application. One is public applications and other is private. Public applications are those where anyone with a link to, to your application can actually access your application. This is very, this is a suitable case for something like a portfolio, or let's say you want to put your product catalog online. That's perfect for that. But for more internal use cases where you want to share your data with only a specific set of people, that's where private apps come in. You want to keep your data private and only exposed to the people that you want to. By default, all apps created on Notion apps are public. You have to manually change them to private. So let's do that. Uh, you First, you open an app builder. An app builder, you'd see a new tab, which is users. Here, the first step to creating an app private is actually selecting a user's database. Users database is basically a data where your user's data resides. So today we allow email-based authentication. So where your username and user email will be present, that is your user's database. So I'll go ahead and create a user's database right away on Notion. Here I would go and create app users. Let me create an empty page. And for now, I'll create an inline database called users. I'm fine with the name column and my name, Jatan. And then I need an email column. So I need an email column. Yeah. Sure. I would type in my email address, which is jatanatharitnotionapps.com, and we are good to go. So now, uh, as you can see, I cannot see my user's database here. So I go ahead and link this database to my application first. So I can see that in databases tab, I can actually go and link this user's database. Now, when I try to select the user's database, I can see the user's database is present. So I select the user's database, login code will be sent to the user through an email address to check the, to basically check out the app. Uh, email address field column is this column and username column is this column. So we need a name column and an email column and that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it. Like your app is now a private application. So all you need to do is publish this app. And once you open this app in a new tab, yep, we can, I can, so this app is now private. Uh, I have to log in to actually access the uh, data inside it. So I will quickly log in. I got a code on my email. That's it. I can log out from here and you can create private apps like this and share data with only a few people that you'd want to share it with. Thank you.